Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and welcome to the first Tag Tuesday. For those of you who may have just watched the video, every Tuesday I am going to be doing tags that you can put into the Tag Your It mini album. I just did a video of that. It should have uh, uploaded just before this one, so you can check this out. It's got like 19 tags, 11 postcards, and I'm going to be showing you all sorts of different techniques you can use to decorate your tags. And this is the first one we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be making faux enamel flowers. And what the, you will need to make these is you're going to need some metal flat flowers. Um, these are Graphic 45's metal flowers. There are six of them, three of each of two sizes in there. These work perfect because they're flat, but they're a soft metal, so you can still bend them. You don't necessarily need tools to bend them. You can emboss them. There's all sorts of cool things you can do with these flowers. But we're going to add some, some materials to the top of them to make them look like they've been enameled or cloisson, or however you pronounce that. I can never <laughs> remember how to pronounce it. But to do this, you'll also need a perfect medium pen, or some sort of pen um, for that you can use that has maybe embossing ink or something in it. Something to get the embossing powder in either bl uh, black or clear to attach to your metal. You're also going to need some perfect pearls in a couple of colors. Um, and that's where we're going to get our color from. So to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with one of our little metal flowers. I'm going to use my pen, and you can draw whatever shape you shapes that you want to use. Now you want to kind of think stained glass. So you want to have it to where there's kind of closed spaces. Now you can just draw this on freehand. You could also stamp an image on here if you wanted to. Now this has Perfect Medium, which is an oil-based embossing powder, or, or embossing fluid that's in the pen. Same thing that's on the little pads that you can get. It works perfect um, with Perfect Pearls. You can also use it with um, um, other kinds of embossing powder like we're gonna do today. Now the first one that I did, I used black embossing powder. The second one I use clear so that the brass shows through. On this small one I'm also going to use clear. So I just drew some concentric little flowers on the inside. So then I'm going to put my embossing powder on here. Tap it off gently. Set that down. Pour that back in real quick. Save every last little bit of it. And then I'm going to really uh, see how quickly I can do this. Um, go ahead and emboss this. There's one little spot. Now, this will get very, very, very hot. It is metal. And when you add heat to metal, I have a little spot where there's too much on there. So go ahead and clean that off with a dry brush if you need to. Some little, whoops, I'm not on camera while I'm doing that in my... You can tell I haven't been doing YouTube videos for a while. Forget all my little stuff that I'm supposed to do. So anyway, so um emboss this real, real quickly. Again, the clear will allow the brass to show through. And if you use the black, it looks kind of almost like leading. So like you can see on these guys. Have them in camera so you can see. And I'm just going to heat this up quickly. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is metal. It will get really super hot. And your inclination when it's done is to touch it. Well, don't. <laughs> um, it just gets, you can dip it in some water. Pick it up with some tweezers and dip it in some water. Or just go ahead and then just let it cool. But it will be very, very hot when you get done because the metal heats up very, very quickly. Okay, so it's all gone clear on me, so I know now that it... So don't touch it with your fingers. If you want to move it around, maybe give it a little fan, cool it down a little bit. And I just flung little flowers everywhere. <laughs> oh, that was classic. So my next step then is I'm going to take a fine tip brush, and I'm going to have a little bit of water. You can just spritz some water on your nonstick sheet that you're working on. Spritz a little water on there. And what is going to happen is with our Perfect Pearls, they react with water. They have a binder built into them that reacts with water. So these aren't going to be coming off of your metal or your paper or whatever surface you're putting them on because that binder is reacting with the water. So I'm just going to take a little drop here. 
a little bit goes a long ways on this. So this I'm using some green patina to start with. And I just mix it in with the water and then I can start painting inside of where I've put that embossing. And it will kind of beat up. It's cooled down now. It's cooled down now. So it'll beat up a little bit because not only does it not necessarily want to stick to the metal real well, um, but it does, um, the embossing also acts many times if you just add a little bit more of the um, Perfect Pearls, it sticks a lot better. If it's not sticking, you might probably have, yeah, see it's sticking better now. You probably have too much water. Now the, um, the embossed areas act like a natural resist and it's not going to stick to those areas. So I just go over it a couple times to make sure I've got it worked over the metal nicely. So that's my first color there in the center. I'm going to wash my brush out. And then I'm going to go with another color. Maybe add a little bit more water to my table here. Let's go to mint. It's going to be my second color. So I've got green patina mint and I'm going to use blue raspberry after that. You're just going to take your dampened brush and dip it into your perfect pearls. Grab your drop of water. Just mix those together nicely. Maybe grab another little blob of it. Like I said, you don't need a lot. A little goes a long ways. So then I'm going to take this and my next concentric circle out. And as I said, it doesn't stick where there was the um, embossing. It acts like a natural resist. And that's the part that's going to look almost like the like letting and stained glass. So you can use, like I said, the black embossing, or in this case, I use the clear. So you just paint that on. And next, then, we're going to be um, doing that third color out in that third ring. And then we can give it a little heat to make sure it's dried. You can go over it as many times as you need to to get the depth of color that you want on there. So this next ring, my dog is snoring over in the background. I wonder if you guys can hear that. It's hysterical. <laughs> Alrighty, so kind of, as I say, I keep kind of going over it, make sure it's got the consistent color. Wash my brush out. So then next color, little spritz. I spilled this color earlier today. That was lovely and fun, so I'm just going to spray right where that powder is that just blew off of there. Perfect perfect pearls and dropping them is not a good idea. You can, I'm going to just migrate that over to it. I, I opened it up upside down. It was a mess. <laughs> I know I'm like permanently blue raspberry sparkled. Okay, so then I've got that all mixed up. So this is going to go on this outermost ring out here. Add a little bit more into it. Because if you find it really doesn't want to stick to the metal, just add more perfect pearls to it. Really get it saturated with the, the, the um, sparkly stuff. And then we'll just apply this. You might also find it that if you run a um, used dryer sheet over your metal before you put this on. It'll take some of the static away and it'll also kind of, but when you want it to be a used one, but you might find the stuff sticks a little better. I should have done that. So I'm working my way all the way around. And then I can just finish drying this with my heat tool after I get my, my color on. But you can use any color combination that you want. Perfect Pearls comes in zillion colors. You can buy it in packs and you can also buy it in um, individual ones depending on what your your needs are. Okay, so always put your lids on your perfect pearls right after you use them so you don't end up with a major honking mess. So let me dry that real quick. I'll hold it up and show you after I dry it and cool it a little bit. So
nice quiet heat tool. Everybody always comments on my Ustream shows. Um, now I did do a couple of my tags already on my last Ustream show. You can go watch that. You can also see pictures of them on my blog at follow following the paper trail dot blogspot dot com. It's almost dry here. And as I said in the previous video, that Tag Your It album is a I have a pattern available for that, so if you want the pattern, that's over on my website at follow the paper trail with Laura.com. So I'll do my commercial while I do this drying. Okay, so now it should be dry. Push that out of the way a little bit so I can get in there with my rag and clear my work off. Let's see how hot is it? Not too bad. So um so you can see where I've added that shimmery color to my um my flat flower. So now I'm gonna take some ultra thick embossing enamel and I'm just gonna pour it up in the lid like so. And then I'm gonna take um some embossing ink. It doesn't really matter which kind it is, just tap it in there so that it gets nice and coated, and then I will drop my flower down into my UD. It's as it's otherwise known. So and then it's got that nice chunky um, uh, embossing enamel on there. And we'll go ahead and cover this with some heat. The UD actually melts faster than the other uh, embossing enamel. I'm not really sure why that is, but it does. Let me see if I can go from an angle so you can see it. It first goes to where it looks like it's covered in, um, almost looks like it's covered, and you can stop at that point. It almost looks like it's covered in a bunch of water droplets, but then they all kind of melt together, and then you get that kind of faux enamel croissant look. So then it's, so there it's all finished up. Let's see if I can slide the paper under it without messing it up. Because it is hot. <laughs> so there I can hold it up a little closer. So then you can see how it's all completely glossy with that shininess. It doesn't take very long for it to cool down. Um, but so you can let it cool. What I've then done on these is I've done a little punch paper flower out of the flower collection that I'm using for that album. And so I've got an extra punched one here. And then so I'll just, while I went for that to cool... Um, oh, I don't need to punch a hole in that. That's not how I'm attached. I'm going to put a little glue dot on it. And put a little glue dot on there. Stick, please. And now come unstuck. So then I'm just going to stick this down in the center of my flower. Because it's now cool. And then I have some little... Um, Prima resin flowers, these guys that I'm using in the center, and they've already got a little sticky on the back of them already, so then I can stick this guy down in the center there. So there's my flower, and I'm going to bend these guys, these little, this little paper center flower up. Obviously those are easy to bend. So bend those up, and then I can just take and bend these petals up as I want to, to give my little flower some shape. So then I'm going to take and put all these guys onto a tag, and I've done some prep in advance with my tag. I've taken um, one of the number um, eight tags, which is a three by six-ish, they're a little bigger than that. And what I've done here is I am doing a crackle, a distress crackle paint resist. And so I've taken my distressed crackle paint, in this case, <coughs> excuse me, vintage photo, and I've just roughly brushed it on just a section of my tag. I've also gone ahead and put in um, the little quote that I want to have on this tag. So my next step is I'm going to ink my back of background of my tag. Now this is going to act as a resist. It'll pick up a little bit of color, but not a lot. So here I'm going to use I'm going to use some tumbled glass and I'm going to use peeled paint. So I'm just going to take and ink up my um, foam applicator, ink applicator, and I'm just going to swirl it on. If you need to know more about how to do this, you can always go to Tim Holtz videos. 
but I also just showed how to do this um, on my last use frame show last week. So I'm going to switch over to the peeled paint. So I have a different foam applicator for each of my Distress Ink colors. So now I want to add a little green, more down here. So, and I'm going to kind of go over the distressed um, crackle paint a little bit, and it'll put some of that crackle down into that. So then I want to kind of just rub that in. So I've got a little bit of blue up towards the corner, and then this green. Now I don't want too much of a green cast on my my um, distressed or my um, well bonk photo. Um, vintage photo. So I'm going to take and just spritz, I'm off camera I know, I'm going to spritz a little water on my rag so then I can then take and wipe off just at where I want to on my my uh, vintage photo and pull some of that off. The green has kind of gone down into the cracks but then that takes off that greenish cast. So that gives me my background for my tag and then I'm going to just attach my flowers. I can bend the flowers kind of as I need to to work around each other so I'm going to just attach those flowers over that whoops, over that um, crackle paint area. <coughs> now you can use glue dots or um, any other kind of glue. You can use some glossy accents, especially for this metal. You probably want to use something pretty strong like the glossy accents um, to attach attach these down. I'm grabbing my glossy accents. So I'm going to take and then I want to sit and let it dry. So I'm going to just take some glossy accents, squirt it on the background here and then place it where I want it to, to go. Now this one has got one of my the basic gray um, Co fabric covered brads in the center and that one. So I want this where I've got it kind of bent. I think I want it to go kind of over this way. So I'm going to set that one there. But with this metal, this glossy accents will attach this metal really well to my tag. So I'll stick that one just right down in there. So there we got our first tag. It says be brave, step off the path, take a walk on the wild side. So there, there's some faux enamel, metal flowers, as well as the um, one of the ranger techniques of using your crackle paint as a resist to help create your background. So that's it for the first Tag Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Well, we might do a postcard because there's going to be tags and postcards. Um, we can add some um, ribbon and string. You can check out my blog where I'll be showing up uh, the picture of this all finished up and completed. Um, you can check out my blog within the next day or two. But anyway, thanks for coming to Tag Tuesday, and we'll see you next week. Thanks a bunch.